Hello everybody and welcome to Storytime with Fade and today we are reading The Lonely Beast. It's written and illustrated by Chris Judge. Hope you enjoy today's story. Let's jump right in. The Lonely Beast. The beasts are very rare. Not many people have heard of them. In fact, they are so rare that there is only one beast in each country and they don't even know one another. They are very quiet creatures who live alone in the mountains or deep in the woods. They like nothing more than tending their beautiful gardens, drinking tea, reading a good book, walking in the snow, standing in the rain, baking cakes, and of course, eating them. This is the story of one such beast who one day suddenly felt very lonely. He made up his mind there and then that he would go and find some other beasts. Straight away, he started walking through the forest and stumbled down the side of the mountain. He crossed a dangerous river, climbed down a high cliff, jumped off a giant waterfall and crept through a dark cave. He ran over many snowy mountains and finally he reached the sea. He jumped in and started to swim until he could no longer see land. A seagull rested on his head and he played with some dolphins. He swam and swam and swam until he was very, very tired. So he started to sink. And when he reached the bottom, he started to walk. On the way, he was nearly caught by a huge octopus. He walked through a garden of pink jellyfish. He trapped his foot in a giant clam and he swam with a giant turtle. Just when he could swim no more, he hitched a ride on a friendly whale. At last, he reached the shore. Then he walked and walked and walked and walked until he arrived at the city and saw lots of people, but there were no other beasts. Hello, he said, but everyone ran away. Curious, the people slowly came to meet him and soon the whole city came out to say hello. The people liked the beast so much they let him live in the big park. It wasn't long before the beast had made the park as beautiful as his own garden. Every day people came to visit him. He liked the people very much, but he was still lonely. So he decided to talk on the radio and to all the newspapers and on television. He talked about his great journey to the city and his search for other beasts. Suddenly the whole world was talking about him. The beast, 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 the beast. But still he had not heard from any other beasts and he started to miss his own garden. Late one night, while the people were sleeping, he crept out of the park. Hurrying through the streets, he left the city. He walked and walked and walked until he reached the sea. Then he started to swim until he was very, very tired and sank to the bottom and walked some more. He trapped his foot and nearly got caught before reaching the shore. He climbed the cliff, crossed the river, and finally found his forest. Welcome home! He was amazed to see so many other beasts in his garden. They had been feeling lonely too, and they had come from all over the world to find him. They danced through the night and every night after that, and the beast never was lonely again. The end. I hope you enjoyed today's story and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.